Yay, dude, the John fam, this is your boy, dude, the John, and I am back with another one for you guys today. This is Sex, Money, Drugs, Don't Satisfy by Creighton Jennings. I can just tell you right now, sex, money, and drugs don't satisfy. As a matter of fact, nothing in this world satisfies. Do you know what truly satisfies the human body, the human soul, the Holy Spirit? The Lord. As simple as that. If you like this content, this video, let me know in the comments below. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And hit that like button. Let's go. I got a question for you and it's simple. Where are you going? I mean, this is what life looks like. It's empty roads. And this is what we do. We go through life traveling these empty roads, hoping that some point we'll find a destination that satisfies us and that completes us and that makes us feel whole. Because from birth, every single one of us and you who's watching this, wherever you're at, you're born with a void in your gut. And what we do is we try to fill that void in our gut by eating the stuff of this world. Yep. But the more of the stuff of this world you eat, the bigger the void gets. Because the void is Jesus shaped. Every one of us is born with a longing to know why we're here. We want to know who our creator is and why he made us. And the bottom line is you will never know your creator unless you know his son, Jesus. And we are all looking for that one thing that will make us complete. The problem is we look in dead places. We look in a world of winter where everything's dead and everything's cold. And so we think that sex will fill us up mm -hmm. and it won't. Nope. We think that that boyfriend or that girlfriend will fill us up. It won't. it won't. We think that bottle of alcohol will fill us up. Nope. It won't. We think that that heroin, we think that that needle, we think that that drug, we think that that success, we think that that fame, we think that whatever that thing is that we set our eyes on to complete us will make us satisfied and it never will. No, it because won't. Satan will use whatever he can to lie to you and you will never find the destination of peace that you're looking for. The only thing in this life that will fulfill you, the only thing that will complete you is Jesus. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. I am living water. If you consume me, if you just have me instead of the world, I will complete you. The bottom line is this, man. You don't have to travel empty roads anymore. You don't have to travel looking for a destination that you're never going to find apart from Jesus. Because he says, anyone who calls upon my name will be saved. And you can give your life to Jesus right now. So many of you watch these videos. So many of you around the world are looking for empty things to fill you up and it never will because you'll never fill the void in your gut because it's Jesus shaped and he's the only one who can do it. Yep. But he can do it right now. Just as sure as I'm standing here, one day you're going to meet Jesus and he's going to look you right in the eyes and you're going to hear that voice of God spoken into your ears. And what's he going to say to you? Is he going to say, depart from me, I never knew you. Hope not. Because you traveled throughout your life down empty roads, eating empty things in an empty world, and you neglected a relationship with me? Or is he going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant, because you gave me the life that was mine in the first place? Because make no mistake about it, it's not your life, it's Christ's life, because he purchased it on the cross when he bled and died for you. I had a friend that I went to high school with, and that friend went down a different road than what I went down. But at some point along that empty road that he was walking of drugs and alcohol and everything that this world has to offer, he had an encounter with Jesus. And Jesus was beckoning him to follow me. And I remember sitting with him at a birthday party and him telling me, man, I feel like Jesus has something for my life and he's calling me. And I said, I know that he does. And I know that he's calling you. And what he wants is for you to sell out and give him everything. And he said, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It was just a couple of months ago that that friend overdosed and lost his life. Oh, my God. You see... You're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised next month and you're not promised next year. And Jesus isn't saying stop walking empty roads and follow me tomorrow. He's saying stop walking empty roads and living for empty things and follow me yes. today. Yes. Jesus wants your life right now. And if you want to stop living in a dead world, eating dead things and living for stuff that will never complete you, and give your life to Jesus and live for something greater and allow him to put purpose on your life and to radically change you forever. Yes. You don't have to be average. You can live a life that brings God glory and you can live a life that has meaning. Yes. But it starts with you. 
because make no mistake about it, it's not your life, it's Christ's life because he purchased it on the cross when he bled and died for you. What's he gonna say to you on that final day? This is not enough to stand before Jesus and say, you know what, Jesus, you know, I traveled those empty roads. I had a lot of fun. I found my temporary satisfaction because sin is pleasure temporarily, but it will leave you so beat up, so dead, a shell of yourself, and you'll never find that satisfaction that you were looking for because it can only be found in Jesus. What's he gonna say to you? You can know just as sure as I'm standing here that when he looks you in the face, he's gonna say, well done, my good and faithful servant, by you right now, wherever you're at, just closing your eyes and praying to the one who died for you and rose again in his name is Jesus and saying, Jesus, save me. I repent of my sins. I'm done eating dead things in a dead world. Save me. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again. Come into my life and make me new. You were created for more than this world, but don't live for this world. Live for the next world yes. and for his kingdom. It's yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus until the day we, day we die. die. Have yes. you been blessed by Clayton Jennings? Woo! Mm. Every time he wants, every time he asks us to, I, I always have to say that. Every day I have to say that prayer. Just so I don't lose track. So I don't lose my step. And my path. Don't walk down those empty roads. It's not going to get you anywhere. Walk down that road, that path that leads to Jesus. It's the only road that matters. And that's the only road that's going to satisfy you fully at the end. So don't take those empty roads that's full of empty promises that satisfy you maybe, what, a day at that. Follow Jesus, live sold out, and live your life by his model, like I do mine. Because as always, it's Jesus, 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 to the day we die. Thank you so much for watching. I stream Monday to Friday, Facebook Gaming. Links are in the comments, I mean the description and the screen. Thank you so much for watching. You are loved.